do 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 What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been finally 10 months since I've been owning the one wheel. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been finally 10 months since I've been owning this bad boy right here. And honestly guys, this thing is totally worth it. Now saying something's totally worth it probably doesn't mean much, but for the past 200 miles, it's been an adventure practically everywhere I go, around my town, around the beach, or whatever it may be. It's been pretty much a fun time, you know, experiencing the everyday life to literally the utmost highest. Take literally what's behind me for an example. I never even knew this is random freaking ship that's in my neighborhood that I've been passing by for the past two years on this bridge. Now I'm not saying specifically you need something like a one wheel to kind of experience the everyday life. You can go out for a walk or whatever it may be, but being able to kind of fast track it with on a one wheel around my whole entire town, I see these random trinkets that I just would never have seen ever in my life without kind of just going my one wheel. Now, if you're speaking the same tune, you kind of want to be able to kind of see the everyday life. You're pretty lazy specifically taking a walk like I am, you know, being able to have one wheel to kind of get yourself out and about, you know, I don't commute with this thing, but specifically owning a one wheel, specifically the GT, has been such a great experience and I just want to be able to ride more if I can. So whatever that's worth, let's go on another adventure. So you're probably wondering for the past 10 months, is this thing actually worth it? You know, what's the experience? What's the kind of feedback, Royce? Well, first things foremost, this thing is a beast to kind of go through all the sand, gravel, rocks, whatever it may be, you kind of throw at it. It's been pushing me to kind of go beyond my limits in places I've never expected it to be. So honestly, guys, this riding experience has just like been no other. I doubt a scooter can do type these types of stuff. And honestly, the biggest important thing for me is getting to the destination safe and sound. All right, guys, so to break down this video into three parts, specifically, I wanna share one, my experience these past 10 months, in riding this beast, you know, what your kind of expectations are one year later. You know, number two, I wanna share specifically my experience, you know, what I kind of specifically changed on this thing to make my experience a lot better. And number three, I wanna share specifically my the kind of endeavors I wanna do with this one wheel, other things I wanna kind of modify, and kind of my dream, what I want this YouTube channel to be with this one wheel. So let's kind of get started with the experience. So as I mentioned before, you know, riding this one wheel has been quite an experience going through all the gravel, the rocks. It's been a smooth ride and no matter what I throw at it, being able to maneuver in such an easy option and just an easier way without using, you know, my hands for like a scooter, it's been kind of nice. So as I mentioned before, I specifically been riding for the past 10 months and I think around, probably around like the third month, I've been really, really comfortable riding around sidewalks, being able to kind of go about my town without really kind of focusing on how my riding capabilities are. Things kind of are like second nature after, for me at least, it was like the second or third month. For whatever that's worth, it takes around like a month or two to kind of be able to get really, really comfortable riding. And kind of the third month, you know, with hands-free, kind of being able to see what's going around me and not really focusing on how my body is, it's pretty much that experience of the riding capabilities. I will say riding in, on the sidewalk and on the road sometimes gets a little sketchy even after like 10 months, but after a while you kind of get used to it and kind of get more comfortable with kind of the scenery and kind of where your, how your body will react and everything. So it's really not that bad. One last thing I kind of want to share specifically on my riding experience is that, you know, you have to really ride a lot to be feeling really, really comfortable. I think specifically, you know, within that two months, pushing myself in those boundaries of like bumps, cracks, you know, whatever these sidewalks have kind of pushed me through, the grass, all these things has really helped me kind of, you know, feel more comfortable. So for what it's worth, there's plenty a lot of videos out there of how to get a better stance with your one wheel and whatnot. But honestly, riding this thing has been so much fun because right now I'm in a random park a lot of Costco and it's you know it's, it's just kind of nice being able to have this wide open space and kind of just be absolutely free all right guys so number two 
Specifically, I changed a lot of things that on my one wheel that I definitely recommend to make your riding experience so much better. First things foremost, I bought fangs. Now what specifically that is, it's are these little two things that replace the front bumper where I actually had these small wheels to kind of catch me. Now, why I specifically wanted to have install these fangs? Well, the XR specifically had this emergency stop. It just shuts off on you and you kind of fall forwards. So having these, it kind of catches you specifically to kind of have the opportunity to kind of catch yourself without falling face forwards and kind of face planting. So having fangs really helps me a lot. And why I specifically wanted to get these onto my actual one wheel is change number two. I changed these actual foot pads to be flat foot pads. Now the one wheel GT comes into a concave pad Pattern. You know, I changed these bolts to be flat footed because I'm not sure if other people have the experience, but the concaveness, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but it just shuts it off. And I actually fell forward a couple times. I had one major crash. You know, having these flat foot pads, especially for like skater shoes like these, like Vans, has been more helpful, much more comfortable, much more relaxing. The, the rideability, cruisability, whatever word you want to want to use for ability, you know, makes the experience so much better. So if you're planning on buying specifically this one wheel GT you know just know the concaveness at least for my preference I don't like it and honestly changing this for a buck 50 it's definitely worth it change number three now you've probably seen in my previous videos a couple times but specifically when I ride this one wheel you know it's not that generic looking you know one wheel look where it's green I got these rail guards I just wanted to have this kind of personal ability to kind of change this one wheel to kind of how I want it to be so and honestly when I'm out and about People really not only see this giant one wheel, I'm floating on the kind of like a hoverboard, but I want to be loud. I want to show I'm here, but also kind of, you know, share my little pizzazz of like a little orange to kind of say, hey, I'm here. You know, for what that's worth, I definitely think those three modifications are definitely worth it, especially if you're planning on buying a one wheel. And last but not least, my future things that I want to do specifically on this one wheel. Now, specifically, what I want to do on this one wheel is that I want to change the fender. There's this interchangeable fender that I really want to change. You know, I definitely have this pain of just trying to take the screwdriver off and on specifically for the fender. So if you're looking to buy one and you really want to have the kind of interchangeability, I think that specific fender would be really nice. And I can't wait to get that specifically probably in the fall. But specifically, what I want to do this one wheel is I kind of want to be able to use this what I really wanted to attend it to be, which is kind of like this filmmaking tool to kind of, you know, make some films, kind of see what's around me specifically and kind of be able to use it as a kind of like a dolly, gimbal, whatever it may be, and kind of get that smooth st stabilization how I want to always do for these videos. So for what that's worth, I can't wait to kind of see what the video is going to be like, where my future is going to be with this whole entire YouTube channel. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy, and God bless. Peace.